So Elizabeth Warren is another one that we're going to talk about exposing because you all recall how nobody wanted to touch the fact that she lied about uh, yeah, being Native American. And, That's you know, there were all the jokes fam. like Trump calling her Pocahontas, people making memes about her being one twenty twentieth. Uh, Native <laughs> American, but you we've talked about we showed the documents where she literally wrote like I am Native American, blah blah blah. Put uh, w talked about being a woman of color, etc. A color I don't know where she thinks she has this, but um, here's a video of her actually read? responding. No, the, here's a video of her responding to this. Uh, she, an admission from Warren. I couldn't. I shouldn't have done it. I am not a person of color. I am not a citizen of a tribe. And I have apologized for confusion I have caused. Okay, there. Let's play the video. How long ago was this? But uh, even so, I shouldn't have done it. I am not a person of color. I am not a citizen of a tribe. And I have apologized for confusion I've caused on tribal citizenship, tribal sovereignty, and for any harm that I've caused. Okay, I'm glad she apologized. Um, I'll give her that. Holy Expose shit! Yourself. This has got 1.23 mi million views. That's what I'm saying. I, I I'm glad she apologized. At least she apologized. You why know. Why didn't we ask her why she did it in the first place, man? Right. Why don't they ask well, these hard questions? Is the Cabo couch got to be everywhere? Of course, we got to be everywhere, fam. That's the point. Why did she but do it, fam? She did it because, fam. It, I mean, I don't. I mean, here's here's why I think she did it. I think there's two parts. There's a lot of people in American culture who, when I've been growing up, have expressed, oh, I am one fifth Cherokee, blah, blah, blah. It's been part of the American, you know, upbringing, especially in the Midwest, like where she's from, where they're like, oh, yeah, like, you know, my great, great, great grandmother was Cherokee. It's been a common. <laughs> but she took it to the next level by literally writing that on, on her college uh her college applications, her college documentations, then pushing the issue and engaging with somebody like Donald Trump. That's like engaging with like a four year old on on an argument that, you know, it's not even worth having. So that was her mistake. And that's why I feel like she'd be terrible at, at, to battle someone like Donald Trump. He would bury her. And that just shows to me why she she has like no integrity in the sense of like you know, f really sticking to something and saying, okay, I'm this and that. I'm not going to argue with you. But she decided to argue with Donald Trump and then it just got worse. And to have the audacity to consider yourself a person of color when you know you're really not a person of color is a little, it's, you know, it's a little ridiculous. Okay. I know I, in my past life, I was an Italian grandma. So I know what it's like to be a female, but not a, uh, well, yeah. you know, Italians so, aren't white. So, according so, to you, what's so. Elizabeth Warren? She, what, what? She's been exposed. She's been exposed. You've been <laughs> exposed. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and when Elizabeth Warren, she sincerely apologized, but it took this long for her to do it. Mm -hmm. How much pressure did she have to get from people like us calling her out for her college applications? Why'd you do it then, Elizabeth? Tell the people why you did it. <laughs> Hold on. There's this. <laughs> Go ahead. There's this Twitter comment. She finally admits she's been lying her whole life to get ahead in a. In a bowling alley, lol. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I know, in a bowling alley, which she did. That's great.